So the way that you access Actual Reality OS is first you have to download the app from the App Store or Google Play Store. It's available for iPhones and for Android phones. Once you open the app, you will be guided through the process of using the app. So there's a, a multiple page welcome guide that talks you through how you use the app. When you're at the Serpentine Galleries is the only time that you can access the augmented reality functionality within the app itself. It's very site specific and context specific. So what you would do is locate one of three concrete sigils that's surrounding the perimeter of the gallery. There's one on the north, east and south sides of the gallery. Now these sigils contain a code, they show you a code. That code allows you to summon the actual reality, the augmented reality, into existence. When you open your app on site at the gallery, you would then walk up to one of these sigils and scan the code, something that you see throughout the exhibition as well as the motif of the sigil. So a sigil in Sigil Magic is the act of using a symbol, an encrypted message, to summon a preferred future. And this sort of idea of um, predictions of the future is something that runs through the entire project. So once you've scanned the concrete sigil, the actual reality, the augmented reality view will be visible to you. You would then look into your phone, lift your phone up to the gallery, and what you will see is a virtual representation of the gallery, of the architecture, skewed by data sets. And there are nine data sets in total that skew the building. There are three mapped to each of the sides. And those data sets have been collected with our research partners. And there are also data sets within the app that are from national open access data sets. And all of these reflect inequality data.